Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're into the um, the Woolpack in Wainfleet, Woolpack Bar and Kitchen in Wainfleet. It's actually a hotel. It doubles as a hotel, which is very interesting. Very interesting for uh, Bateman's 150th uh, anniversary this year. Um, so I can get a train from Nottingham. I'm not driving. It's too far. Um, so tonight I'm reviewing, and it's I've had to put it into a pot bottle, but I will show you what it was like when it was absolutely fresh. It's been sat in the car for two hours. It's solid, absolutely solid. So it's pretty decent. In my new Bateman's Brewery glass, I had to do it. I had to, I had to go to Bateman's Brewery. Uh, I've been saying about it, and uh, so yeah, it's not looking like it would do when it was poured. I'll show you when it was poured. So this is Bateman's Brewery and Buxton Brewery collaboration. And it's called Sesky, that's how you pronounce it, Centennial. Uh, celebrating 150 years of brewing. A 5% pale ale brewed with heritage Chevalier malt and a blend of UK Cascade, Amaryl, Admiral and, what was that word? And Emperor Hops. Emperor Hops, don't often see that. Um, and here's the beer when it was first poured. I mean, yeah, it looks a lot better there than it does behind me. But obviously, uh, I was driving home, so and I couldn't do a proper beer review in the pub anyway. So, um, big thank you to the lady at the Woolpack Bar and Kitchen in Waynefleet for pouring me the beer. And uh, obviously, I went next door to the Bateman's Brewery. Didn't realise they got a campsite is actually smack on the brewery's doorstep um, and a visitor centre as well. We're going to have to get myself up for the brewery tour at some stage but it does require me to get a, a train from Nottingham to Rainfleet, you know, not messing about driving because if I want to drink, uh, driving is you know, it's not the greatest task but there, there you go, there's the pour I think the head's bigger and you, you know, the beer is looking as it should do anyway really, it's looking good, nice that amber looking pour on this. Oh, gotta be honest, a bit of that tropical hot uh, fruit on the aroma. A little bit subtle, you know, it's, it's a cask, it's not uh, a full on smack in the face craft beer. It's more of a, you know, that sort of beer. earthiness a nice twang I've just got the beer right I didn't want to leave it any longer I've had to rush down the shed and get the beer review in you know travel back from Boston to uh, from Rainfleet to Nottingham via Boston and Grantham ah oh, lovely traffic cues you love traffic I love traffic but um well, thanks for Google Google Maps is amazing when you're driving because all of a sudden you just that is diver <laughs> just woo, right get away from that nasty traffic Awesome to see Bateman's Brewery doing collaborations um, with the likes of Buxton Brewery. And, you know, they've been an American brewery last year, obviously Blue Monkey. Uh, and obviously other breweries as well. There's been other collaborations. I can't remember them all, but um, I really wish that we had uh, an outlet in Nottingham for the for the seasonal, you know, the one-off beers and collaborations. Uh, it's a shame the local Weatherspoons in Sherwood of all places, didn't, because um, I know, I know um, a lot of Bateman's, Bateman's beers do go into Weatherspoons at times, and uh, yeah, if I had a micro pub in Nottingham, I'd be having Bateman's on the bar, you know, if I had my own micro pub, not that I'm a businessman, but I know beers, and uh, I'd be having beers from all parts of the country that nobody else in Nottingham is selling, get them punters in, a wide range of modern traditional Full on craft, and and those in those in you know, and then also the Germans and that, and uh, yeah. But I, I could get them in, but I'd need somebody to hold me and and pay for it, of course, as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, in life, business is not my yeah, um, strong point, and uh, you know. 
had I, had I been better years ago in, in thinking about the long-term future rather than the short-term. But uh, hey-ho, you know, life is life, isn't it? You know, we can't all... Some of us are better at seeing the future and seeing the the, pla the way forward and some of us have lived a, a slightly difficult life and, you know, and, and it's never really been able to get away from that. And it always seems that way with us. We, we've never been the luckiest uh, family in the world. But we're all still here, all still breathing. We've had a fantastic weekend away visiting the pubs and breweries of Lincolnshire. New breweries to me, obviously Bateman's. Um, and I've, I've had a good weekend away and uh, I'm really happy with what I've managed to, to do this weekend. The content for the channel is just ridiculous. I just don't know. I'm, uh, I need to calm it down probably for a week or two and not do any beer reviews. Well, beer reviews, I'm all right. It's the rest of it. It's all the shorts, short beer reviews, quick beer reviews. Um, and then social media as well, as well as beer hauls. It's, it's been crazy, but it's been great. You know, uh, I've took Baggy's beer reviews into Lincolnshire. Uh, from Grimsby to Cleethorpes to Louth to uh, Skegness and then obviously to Rainfleet as well. And the Raggy Bay Review tour car has, has been everywhere with the, with the, with the Happy Drinkers, in, you know, with us. Well, we are, I am part of the Happy Drinkers anyway. It's not just me and the Happy Drinkers. Um, but obviously, I'm that social media face. Um, but yeah, we, we've had, all had a great weekend and, uh, you know, Lincolnshire has a lot to offer. And a lot less potholes than Nottinghamshire. My gosh. Um, yeah, a lot less potholes. Anyway, let, on with the beer. Let's let's get on with the beer. Great to see this collaboration between um, Bateman's and Buxton. I've already forgot what the ABV was. So, yeah, I'm shocking at that. So that's what the beer obviously looked like. It's fresh as fresh as a daisy. Um and obviously, 5% ABV, there you go. Just if you're still watching. And uh, you see beer reviews in the beer room. Ah, yak. And it's what it's the way I am. I, I like to talk about beer. I like to be enthusiastic about beer. And uh, and I'm a gardener as well. And I'm loving the spring weather. I'm loving the warmth today. It's been really, really refreshing. Uh, I chucked it down yesterday, up until about 1 o'clock. And, and today it's been a breath of fresh air. I've managed to get a brand new beer on tap. I'm, I'm still wanting to get the Bateman 5G. I pray that somewhere in Nottingham has it, or that they put it in bottle anyway. And it's available somewhere in Nottingham. Uh, but it was great to get to the brewery nonetheless today. And obviously the Wainfleet, um, the Woolpack in Wainfleet Bar and Kitchen. Twangy beer. I quite like it into smoke, man. You know, strangely enough. Um, like a resin, piney resin going off as well. So it's really developing. So if you sat in the pub over the next few weeks drinking this, get yourself this. Um, Bateman's and Buxton. Whoa. Nice to be able to drink at home. If I see if I see any of the Batemans beers come to Nottingham, and especially to Arnold, to Blue Monkey's Organ Grinder, I'll get myself over, get a pint, pour it into one of my Panda Pop bottles, and bring it home and review it. And review it literally within 20 minutes of buying the beer. Um, people look at me daft when I do it, you know. But I, I think it's a great thing. I think having these and taking them home, as long as you clean them, obviously, and sterilise them, um, get them home and to do it to do a cask beer review at home instead of being in, trying to do one in a busy pub where there's lots of noise around you and that's what i try and do um you know it's what, it's what raggy's beers is all about raggy's beer reviews anyway tasting great <laughs> That's a beer you could put on keg, never mind, just cask.
And if I'm talking directly to the good people who own uh, Bateman's Brewery, that's a beer that should go in bottle. Um, obviously, we've got the Buxton Brewery, a craft beer brewery, coming to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Um, and the joining of two breweries, you know, fantastic. Um, oh, that's got some real flavour on it. And that's after, that's after being sat in the bottle for two and a half hours. So, obviously, I poured it in. Like, literally, we've been two minutes of it coming off the bar. Um, it's a belter. Got to be honest, absolute cracker. So, here's the beer. Um, oh. Sesky. Centennial. I'm not sure what the sesky means. Does it mean that one and a half centennial? Uh, I assume that's what it means. You see that on the bar? Get yourself some of that. Absolutely stunning. Um, I'm so far behind with social media at the moment. I've got so much to post, but I will try and get it uploaded pretty quickly so that you see it in the next day or two. Um, I need to have some late nights and catch up with social media and uh, just to catch up and, and put a level on it and then catch up uploading social media. Um, would I drink this again? Hell yes. Stunning beer. Uh, well played to, I think it's Buster, who's the head brewer now at um, Bateman's and Buxton Brewery. Um, out of five for me. Scores matter not, but uh, I'd like to give it a score now on Cask. Oh, Cask is king. 4.65 for that is a cracker of a beer. If you're a pub, get yourself down and get it ordered. And they may they may rebrew it as well, which would be a good thing. I think it should. I think they should anyway. But uh, in any case, that's my review. Thank you for watching. See you soon.